Patients always ask me about brown spots on the white part of their eyes. And there are actually four main causes of these brown spots. And two of them are pretty harmless, but two are way more concerning for cancer. So in this video, we are gonna talk about all four of them and how they are different. So be sure to stick around till the end. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Sai Nagori. I'm a board certified ophthalmologist and you're watching the ifax.com channel. If you wanna know all things related to eye health and how to keep your eyes healthy and keep your vision good till you Die, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button below. So today I want you to understand the difference between something that's benign, meaning that it's pretty harmless, and something that is more potentially serious when it comes to brown spots on your eye. So for most of the patients that I see in my practice, the brown spots on the eye are something that is not very concerning and it's called racial melanosis. And in fact, my husband also has some racial melanosis as do many other members of his family. So racial melanosis is exactly that. It is a pigment associated with your race. Another name for it is called complexion associated melanosis. This is a normal and harmless type of pigmentation that is commonly found in people who have darker skin tones, especially those who are of African descent, Asian descent, Middle Eastern descent, and Hispanic descent. My husband is South Asian, so this makes sense that he would have this. So when does racial melanosis or complexion associated melanosis start to show up? And how do you know that it's not the harmful kind of pigment? So complexion associated melanosis usually happens in childhood and it usually happens on both sides. One eye may have a little bit more than the other, but in often cases, it can even be very symmetric looking. The brown areas on the white of the eye in racial melanosis do not really tend to change over time. They tend to be very evenly pigmented. And the most important part about this is that it is extremely unlikely to turn into cancer, but it does require monitoring. So typically we will watch these in the clinic. I often ask my patients, how long has this been there? Have you noticed it changing over time? And many times we will take pictures on a yearly basis to make sure that it's not changing over time. Now there's another condition that also causes dark spots on the white part of the eye, and this is much more concerning. This condition is something called primary acquired melanosis, which is often abbreviated as PAM. So one of the distinguishing factors about PAM or primary acquired melanosis or PAM when compared to racial melanosis is that PAM is more likely in fair skin individuals or lighter skin individuals. And this is really different to racial melanosis. Also, PAM tends to happen later in life. It's usually not something that's been around since childhood and it tends to only happen in one eye. And that is also very different from racial melanosis, which tends to happen in both eyes. Now, in terms of appearance, PAM can appear more irregular or patchy, and these brown spots can actually darken or grow over time. And although some cases can be harmless, there are definitely some cases where the pigmented cells of the lesion have these abnormal features. And this is called atypia. Now, if this is the case, that brown spot carries a much higher risk of turning into an eye cancer called melanoma. Now, because of this, your ophthalmologist may suggest that you get the lesion biopsied or removed completely so that it can be looked at carefully under a microscope. So as you can see, history is really important here. So noticing when the lesion appeared in your life, is it on one side, is it on both sides? These are all really important factors to tell your doctor. And also of course, take your race into account. If you are in a low risk category that is more associated with racial melanosis, Pigment on the eye is usually less concerning than in someone who has a fairer complexion or a lighter complexion, and they have new pigment on the eye, which is brown. Now, the third cause of brown spots in the eye is something called a nevus. This is the medical term for what we casually call a freckle. Now, a nevus on the white part of the eye usually also happens earlier in life, just like complexion acquired melanosis. But unlike complexion acquired melanosis, a nevus will usually happen on one eye. Now, if we do see it on the other eye, it's not gonna necessarily have symmetrical qualities to the other eye. But again, 
This type of freckle or nevus is really unlikely to turn into a cancer. So again, we will watch these, we will photograph them maybe every 12 months, maybe every six months if we're really concerned. And we just wanna watch and make sure that there's no change. Again, history is very important here. So if this is something you've had your whole life and it didn't just show up a year ago, this is a good sign that is likely benign. But of course, it's always a good idea to get it checked out. Now, one of the most concerning lesions on the eye is something called a conjunctival melanoma. These are very dangerous tumors and they can actually spread to other parts of the body, which is a process called metastasis. And these tumors do need to be removed and they will also likely need other therapy as well to make sure that they have been treated fully. Now, luckily conjunctival melanomas are pretty uncommon when you compare it to other brown spots on the eye and other reasons for brown spots on the eye, but we are gonna be doing a video on conjunctival melanoma. So be sure to hit the like and subscribe button below so that you can get notified when that video drops. Now, what should you do if you see a brown spot in your eye? Well, if you think it's new, you should definitely go see the eye doctor as soon as possible. Or if you're not sure, then still good idea to see the eye doctor. Now, if it's something that's been there for a long time and it hasn't changed, you're probably okay to just go to your regularly scheduled appointment, but that should be within six to 12 months. And if you haven't seen the eye doctor in a long time, you should probably make an appointment. Either way, bottom line, if you have something brown on the eye, go get it checked out. Now remember that racial melanosis usually happens in patients with darker skin and usually begins in early childhood. On the other hand, PAM appears in patients who have lighter skin and can show up later in life. And it's typically only on one side. Although complexion acquired melanosis or racial melanosis doesn't require any treatment, it should be followed closely by an eye doctor. PAM, on the other hand, should be biopsied and then treatment options will depend on what the biopsy and the pathology of the lesion actually shows under the microscope. For PAM, in addition to surgical removal of the lesion, it may be combined with other therapies like freezing an area of the lesion or even using special eye drops. And these treatments are especially helpful if surgery is not possible or if the lesion keeps coming back. A nevus or a freckle on the eye is different from racial melanosis because it will typically only happen on one eye. And if it does happen on the other side, it does not appear to be very symmetric to the first side. And then a conjunctival melanoma is not a benign lesion. It is a malignant lesion. So while you can just watch a nevus or a freckle for a melanoma, you will have to have this removed and have other treatment as well. Hope you found this helpful. If you have more questions, put them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.